Stan Jubilisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey 1. Good vibrations. This is, video is uh, a little bit of a cop out because it regards the video immediately following that you will see called tripole antenna um, having to do with a three-wire balanced transmission line feeding a three-element antenna that's just like a dipole except in three phases rather than two and with three wires using a three-wire balanced transmission line here I show line X, line Y, and line Z. They are all of equal length, spaced like with a triangle shaped spacer, or you can space them around at 120 degree angular intervals, and their phase difference is 120 degrees each with respect to the other. Uh, so the difference between any two wires is 120 degrees of phase or one-third of a cycle. The antenna at the end of this transmission line conductors X, Y, and Z comprises three one-quarter wavelength radiators, radiators spaced at 120 degree angles in a plane all in a single plane of course I guess any three if you have three well not necessarily they're all space uh, they're all arranged in a single plane the plane can be oriented any way you want vertically horizontally or anything in between except the three wires have to be all lying in a single plane. I recommend that you go to the next video in this sequence of videos and watch that one first in its entirety and then go back and start over with this one. I should have told you that from the get-go, but in any case, a balanced three-wire line is like a three-phase AC utility line except for RF. Now the key to getting this thing to work is building a transmatch or an antenna tuner that has a balanced three-wire output. And by balanced I mean the currents in each of the three wires must have the same intensity it's just that they differ by 120 degrees of phase or one-third of a cycle each. The transmatch connects with ordinary 50 ohm coaxial cable to a transceiver. In this transmatch or circuit, whatever it may be, hopefully designed for broadband operation, but it's okay even if it works only on one frequency, at least it accomplishes the goal of obtaining a 50 ohm purely resistive impedance at the transceiver output. The transmatch may be tunable if it's broad banded or even, uh, even for a single band you'd probably have to adjust certain controls to optimize its response. The trick is getting this 50 ohm single-ended unbalanced line interfaced to this three-wire balanced transmission line and as things turned out that is a very big mystery to me and I'm not sure that I know how to do it. I imagine that it can be done and there must be some way that it can be done over a broad band. I know how it can be done at a single frequency but the design 
is so clunky. And I do mean clunky. Just clumsy, complicated, and unwieldy. It would work, but it would be a real mess to use. Um, of course, if you're just going to be operating on one frequency or a very narrow band of frequencies, once you set it, you can forget it. That is the mystery. Again, it regards the tripole antenna described in the video you'll find immediately after this one, both in the main sequence of videos and in the Ham Radio 4 playlist on my YouTube channel. So, sorry to cop out on you. But at this point, seeing the lion is one thing. Hearing it roar and learning what its roar sounds like and making it roar in the way you want is an entirely different task. Entirely different task. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Saying 73, which means best regards, and so long, which, regardless of this transmatch design, regardless of the frequency, and regardless of how complicated it is to use, so long, which always has, does now, and ever shall, in my native fist, translate to da 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 da. -da.